Welcome back, everybody. Here's a live look at Boise from the Red Lion Tower Cam. Not looking too bad over there right now. Well, it's Wellness Wednesday, and we're helping you stay safe as you spend time outdoors this season, whether it's a family night out ice skating or just decorating your home for the holidays. Joining me today, Dr. Adam Saberston from Blue Cross of Idaho. Doctor, thanks for being here today. Thank you, Matt. Okay, so first question for you. What are some of the most common winter injuries that we see? Uh, some of the most common are actually, the most common is slipping on ice. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and uh, you've, we've seen up to like 40,000 in a year. That wow. was reported in 2014, just slipping on ice. Snow shoveling accidents also, that can happen up to 11,000 per year. Um, and then w uh, winter sports injuries. So skiing leads to 80,000 a year, snowboarding 60,000, and ice skating 50,000. And who are some of the most, uh, or who are the people that are most commonly affected by these injuries? Uh, um, the most common are our seniors and our, our children. Um, but also everybody can be affected, especially winter athletes as well. Gotcha. And what injuries, um, what injuries do we see that, that people may fall or, you know, fall whatever it is that they might require uh, emergency room use? So um, if somebody falls to the point where they have a deformity in one of their extremities, uh, it's severe pain, if with their back they're feeling numbness or tingling, uh, radiating down their legs or something of that nature, they should then go immediately to the emergency department. And or if they have the symptoms of, let's say they were outside and they got frostbite oh. to the point where there's, again, numbness or tingling or they notice that their skin looks like a different kind of color, uh, waxy or gray, they should go immediately to the emergency department. So, so let, me, let me stick with that for a second. With frostbite, is that something that's, that's pretty easy to tell, like something's really wrong here? Um, I mean, it, it, the, there's like frost nip and frostbite. So um, usually I think when it's beginning, it may be a little bit challenging, but uh, if it, and the, the parts of the body that it affects the most are your hands, your face, your nose, your ears. So one of the, it's one of the, also the simplest ways to keep it uh, prevented, wearing appropriate uh, clothing and uh, covering. Okay, perfect. Now, of course, like you mentioned uh, with uh, winter sports, say it's uh, fishing, ice fishing or something like that. What tips do you have for people that go into the woods or the mountains? Well, uh, number one is I would say avoid alcohol. Uh, okay, um, yeah. I mean, there's that old uh, image of the St. Bernard carrying uh, the right. cask yeah. of, of brandy. <laughs> and, and the one thing is that's a total myth. Okay. And the problem with alcohol is it actually does things that reverses uh, your body. It brings your blood flow out to your extremities, et cetera. And, and it really increases your risk for hypothermia as well as for frostbite. Okay, good tips there. And for anybody else who might have any other questions, where can they head to find out more information? Um, you can head to our uh, one for uh, members of Blue Cross. We have members.com, membersbluecrossidaho.com uh, okay. um, for finding out where to go to get seen. Um, and, and then also always the CDC. Okay, good tips. All right, Dr. Adam Saverson, thanks for being here today.